Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can run Battlefield 1 on a slow computer. So a computer that's not up to the highest spec in the world. If you have got a computer that's not amazingly powerful, but it does meet the minimum requirements for Battlefield 1, then hopefully this is going to help improve your frames per second in Battlefield 1. So, first things first, what we want to do is we want to put our antivirus into game mode. So, if you've got an antivirus, make sure you turn off any real-time protection, and if there is an option, then put it into gaming mode. I know a fast and stuff like that, they do have a game option. So, make sure you put that into game mode. That is the very first tip, because all new games like Battlefield 1 and stuff, they are very CPU and memory happy. So, running antivirus and things like that, that's just adding on to more strain on your processor, which we do not want. So, the next thing is, you want to open up your task manager. So, to do this, right click in the bottom left hand corner and click on to task manager. And from here, you want to close down any unnecessary programs. So, anything that you don't need, just close it. Because you don't need it. So, for instance, I've got Firefox. It's using 278 mega RAM and a bit of CPU. Close it. Cortina, don't need it. Close it. Okay, so you can close down all sorts of things in your task manager, which will help improve that slight bit of performance. So, like up here, I've got my OBS recorder. It's using nearly 300 meg of RAM and it's using 13.7% of my CPU. It's, you know, it's using a lot of CPU power there, which is unnecessary. We don't need it, you know, let, let Battlefield use all the memory. Okay, so now we're going to jump into game and we're going to check out a couple of settings that we can alter. So open up your Battlefield 1. So as you can see, I've got Battlefield 1 open now and it's on screen. So we're just in campaign at the moment. So the very first thing is you want to press the little tidal um, key in the top left hand corner of your keyboard. It's just below the escape key. And you want to type in P-E-R-F overlay. Oh, so overlay. And then we want to go dot draw FPS and then space and one. And we just want to hit enter. So if we just close that down now, in the top right hand corner, as you can see, I've got a solid 60 frames per second. So that has just dropped now, now that I moved. It's funny that how it just said that. Okay, so notice how at the minute I'm, I'm looking at the ground or looking over here and there's not a lot going on. But as soon as I go to turn to the left, there's a lot of drawing for the um, graphics card, CPU, there's a lot of work to be done there. You've got the birds in the background. You've got that windmill going around. You know, and the further along I go, the more that's coming on my screen, the lower that FPS is dropping. So as we can see, we've got, it, it's at, I don't know, about 53 minimum. 52, 51. So now we want to see if we can make that drop, um, not drop, um, go up. So we've got a solid 60 like we do if we're facing that way. So hit escape and go to options and go to video. So in here, we've got lots of options that we can play around with. Going from motion blur, you can turn the motion blur off if you want. That will help. That will, any little thing will help when it comes to um, the FPS, you know, Turning off motion blood, that will help. That's an effect that we don't need. So go on to advanced. And now, if we were to turn off DirectX 12, so turn DirectX 12 off. You don't need DirectX 12, especially where you've not got the best computer in the world. Turn it off. You don't need it. So that's off. That does require a restart of the game. So if we go down, down now, we've got our resolution scale. So basically what this does, this, this is really good. So 
As it says there, internal rendering resolution. Below 100% equals faster. Above 100% equals higher quality through super sampling. So basically what that is saying is if I turn that all the way down to 25% and you can actually tweak it in the config file and go even lower than 25%, I believe the minimum you can get to is 15%. But the game, as you'll notice now, did I save that? Yep, it auto saves. So if I go back now and we go into game, the game looks awful. It looks hideous. Okay, as you can see, it's all pixelated. So that's what it does. But now, if I was to turn around, look at that. We have got a solid 60 frames in the top right hand corner there. It's just solid 60 frames per second. So this is what we're trying to go for. As you can see, just doing that one little thing, we have just saved ourselves 10 frames per second. So we could now go back onto that option, go onto video, go onto advanced, and we could bump that up to 50%. Go back, go on to resume, and the game looks fine. It, you know, there's no difference. And look at that, we have still got a solid 60 frames per second. Just from that one little tweak, I'm not losing not one frame per second now. So, you know, obviously the quality is not as good. But if we go back onto there, just to show you one thing, and we go onto our video, and if we were to bump that all the way up to 200%, the frames per second will drop now really dramatically. So if we go on to resume, look at that. 17 frames per second. The game is unplayable. The picture looks absolutely stunning, but you can't play it. So that is what that option does. It's a very important part when you're adjusting these settings um, you know we need to do this because we want this game to run on your PC so go back to options go on to video go on to advanced and we're going to go with 20 try and start from 25% and slowly work your way up until you get to a point like I just said then I, I could try now 60% or 65% Go back and I could give that a go. And if I'm happy with the frames per second that I'm getting there. So on that, I'm I'm getting a solid 60 frames per second. So I could bump that up some more until the frames per second start dropping. So once you get to where you like, then leave that option alone. So the next thing to tweak is our... Um, UI scale factor, um, you could turn that down to 25% if you want, it, you know, don't do too much, I mean, I just, I'm going to leave that at 50%, because as you can see, it didn't, it's, don't do a great deal anyway, so let's just put that to 50%, and you can change your frame rate limiter, so where you've got a slow computer, Okay, so the max you can, uh, minimum you can do it on is 60 anyway. Okay, that's fine. All right, so leave that on 60, as that is the lowest option that we can go for. But if you've got a nice, powerful computer, you could go for 200. And if I go back now, my frames per second should hopefully go above 60. There we go. It just went up to 61 then. If I face this way, is it going to do anything? So it's not doing anything anyway. It's just staying at a nice 60 frames per second. Which is a bit strange. It should be changing. Maybe I need to restart my game. So let's go back to advance. And I'm just going to put that back to 60. So now we've got GPU memory restriction. So adjust graphical settings based on available memory. To ensure the best possible performance. Disabling... Your graphics processing unit memory restriction may use more GPU memory than what is available and could compromise the stability of the game. So if you don't have a good graphics card, then you know what the option there is. You need to turn that on. 
because we don't want our game to glitch out or we don't want to encounter any problems. So now down to our graphics quality. So basically you want to turn that to low. That That's all we want to do there. Whack it to low. So make sure everything's on low and you will definitely be able to run the game. What happened there? <laughs> that that looks really strange. Oh, it's disappeared now, but that, that looks funky. Right, so obviously low low is the lowest you can go. So if at this point you can't run the game, then unfortunately there's the odd little tweak you can do in Windows. You could even install Razer Game Booster. That help you might gain another extra five or ten frames per second as you can make it shut down a few services and that. I do have a tutorial on that program. So give that a try if you're still struggling. And fingers crossed that will help. But now if you're not struggling on low and you're still getting a nice frames per second, a solid 60, we can go to custom. And go to custom, make sure everything's on low still. And here, you basically, you ne you'll never want to turn on your anti-analyzing and ambient occlusion. Because these two options are a high impact on, on your machine. Okay, so leave those off completely. And we don't have an option here for shadows. But I find effects that that does have quite an impact on the performance as well. But the best thing to do is, like I said, go through, slowly turn up certain options, go back and then see what your frames per second's at. So as you can see, I'm still at a solid 60. So I can go back, go onto my options and I can adjust some more. And that is pretty much it. That is how you can get Battlefield 1 to run on a slower machine. Also, if you go into audio, um, there's not too many options there. Make sure you ain't got surround on. Make sure you've got stereo on. I mean, you could try turning off voice over IP if you're playing online. That might help a little bit as you're not getting all the extra tasks of it and do an output of people talking and stuff you can turn off subtitles that might help a little bit as well but things like that i don't think it's going to do a great deal anyway so that is it that is how you can improve the performance on battlefield 1 on a slower machine so i hope this tutorial helped if it did hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer computer sluggish tutorials and if there are any other games that you'd like me to take a look at and adjust settings and show you how you can improve the performance of that game then comment below and i will look into doing a tutorial for that game so like i said smash that like button and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials